Hello and welcome to Bio 181, General Biology for Majors, first semester. My name is John Nagy and I'm the lead instructor for this class. The purpose of this video is to help online students who are first coming to this class understand the class mechanics and in particular get comfortable figuring out how to actually get things started. Now before we do that, however, I want to provide a little bit of context. In particular, I want to point out that this class is, in my opinion, the most important class that students who are going into biomedical sciences or biological sciences as a profession take in their entire career. That might seem like a pretty bold assertion, and it actually is, but it comes from my experience. I've been teaching at the university level, all levels, from introductory courses like this all the way up through advanced PhD students, research students, and medical students, and I've discovered that the students who do best, in other words, the ones who score really well and understand the material really well at the 300 and 400 level at their undergraduates, and also compete the best into these extremely competitive research and medical programs for across the country, are students who have had an excellent experience in their equivalent of this class. So I take this class very, very seriously. Also, the topics that we teach in this class relate to my own research, which re my research revolves around cell processes primarily associated with cancer. So for these reasons, I really focus my teaching primarily on this class. So how do we get the ball rolling here? Well, if you're new to Maricopa Community College District and especially Scottsdale, the easiest way to get going is to start with Google. Go to Google and type into the search bar, My Maricopa. The top result, which is highlighted here, will typically link to Maricopa Community College student page. Go ahead and click on that link. When you do, that link will take you to a page that says, Welcome Students. Now, the picture that you see may not be the exact picture that you see right here, but from now on, you're going to need to know this identification that we use in the community college district called the MEID, and you're also going to need to know the password for that and have the two-factor authentication uh, set up for it. If you have any trouble with these or you're not sure what I'm talking about, go to the button that's highlighted here that says help with your password and MEID, and you can get all of that information there. Once you've got that all figured out, then scroll down a little bit on that same page until you can see these icons. The one you're after is called Canvas, and it's the one that's highlighted here. Now that link may not be precisely in the same position on your screen as it is on mine, but whatever, wherever it is, go ahead and click on it. Precisely what you see on the next page will vary, but you should see a link for your MEID. If you do, click on that link. Now note here, I have two possible links because ASU, where I also do my research, uses the same system that we use at SCC. The next step will ask for your Maricopa password or your MEID password. Go ahead and enter it here and then click Sign In. All Maricopa colleges, including SCC, use a two-factor identification. So go ahead and use that Duo Mobile app to log in as it was explained on the Welcome Students page that we saw earlier. Once you've gone through all of that, you'll now be in your Canvas dashboard, which lists all the courses that you're taking at SEC or any other Maricopa College. Dig around through that and you should see two Canvas links for this course. One will link to the lecture and the other will link to the lab. Let's start with the lecture. That's where we're going to begin with the course. After clicking on that lecture link, you should see an introductory page like this. To start the course, go ahead and click on that Welcome to Bio 181 link highlighted here in red. Now you'll see something similar to this. The first thing that you see there is this introductory video that you're watching right now, but below that is a list called Getting Started. Your specific course may not have the exact same things shown in this video, but that list, the Getting Started list, will walk you through everything you need to do to get going with the course. So those directions will lead you to the main course webpage, which looks like this. This webpage has on it all the stuff that I'm doing uh, and teaching and so forth, but the one that you're looking for is this, the Bio 181. What you want to do is to 
go through some of this and get a sense for what you can find here. For example, you can find the syllabus. If you go here, you can actually download your syllabus. Uh, you can also find lectures, labs, readings, and a number of other things. What I want to focus on is the lectures. If you click on the lectures, you'll get this page right here. And all of the lectures for the course are set up in the same basic way. Let's take a look at the first one, lecture 1.1. If you click on the link that's there, it'll take you to this. Each lecture has a little overview of what it is that we're going to be doing in that lecture. And then there's a list of activities. And those activities will give you the things that you need to do. For example, in this first lecture, you're required to download the slides, which is a PDF of all the slides that we're going to be looking at. Watch a video. Then read the syllabus carefully. Download the syllabus from that previous page. And then watch two other videos. Do another reading. And then at the end of that, you go into an assessment, log into your Canvas, and take quiz 1.1, lecture 1.1 quiz. All lectures are set up in the same basic way. If you go to lecture 2, for example, it also has the same sort of setup. There's an overview, a series of activities, things to do, and then finally it ends with a quiz. All lectures will end with a quiz, and those quizzes are meant to help you prepare for the exams, and the main points that you're going to get from this class come from exams and labs. But make sure that when you go through everything, you hit all of these activities before you try to take the quiz. And that's how we get started. Once again, I welcome you to the course, and I look forward to working with you this term. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me uh, at either my SCC or ASU email accounts, both of which are listed on the syllabus. Good luck this semester, and I will see you again very soon.